are visiting the house right now and they're actually working on it right now. The HVAC guy is here. I just wanted to see how bright it would be in the house. So they pretty much framed everything. They're just working on the HVAC right now and then he said plumbing is next. This is the primary bedroom. You taking a shower, bub? <laughs> this is gonna be the shower. That's a lot of room for soap, actually. The backyard is definitely gonna get direct sun. It's full south facing, and I did that on purpose, obviously, for my plants. We're gonna add a pullback here, too, which will be helpful because, uh, you know, Arizona heat. Coffee shop now. It's Jared's. He got it, Jared. And then I got just an iced latte with oat milk. Ooh, this is a vegan, vegan blueberry scone. Let me see. It's not as strong as I thought it would be, but. I'll try the chai. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Too sweet? Mm hmm. Oh. I like it. Does it taste vegan? No, just good. It's really good stuff. It's pretty good. We just came out of that cute little shop. We got some Arizona chocolate. This is very expensive. Stone ground organic chocolate handcrafted from the bean. So it, it's really pretty though. But this was like almost $30, which we didn't realize we were getting it. We also picked up some kettle corn from that shop. And then this is something I want to try right now because I'm thirsty. We got true noble prickly pear cactus water. Anytime that there's anything prickly pear flavor, I wanted to try it because I tried this prickly pear margarita that was delicious. And then we tried some prickly pear ice creams. The last thing that we got was also prickly pear. We got this at the place that my husband just got a sandwich. This is um, iconic cocktail. Company prickly pear sour, it's like a drink mixer. Hopefully this doesn't melt before we get home because it's really hot. It's the weather right now, but hundred is it's not a hundred and something. Ninety-four. It's not too bad. I, I feel like so far the weather hasn't been crazy. Cause it's not in like the one teens or anything. It's been under a hundred, but the difference is that the humidity is a lot lower, so it doesn't feel as bad. Like, I'm not sweating when we're going outside, so that's good. <laughs> Open it. Made from the fruit of prickly pear cactus. Let's see. Mmm. It's really refreshing. It's like coconut water, but it has like a coconut water vibe to it without being coconut water, I guess. Wanna try it? There's a coconut water vibe to it. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's not actually coconut water, but it has a little bit of a coconut water taste to it. It's uh, kind of tart. But not too tart. It's like a little bland. It definitely there's... tastes like just like water. No, it doesn't. Just water? It no. More, it, it tastes more watery than coconut. Water. Yeah, it's a, it's way it's more mild than coconut water, but it's still has like a little bit of the aftertaste. Okay, so my husband made this prickly pear gimlet. Okay, so it's a few days later, but I am currently waiting in the car because my husband is going into the his employee health 
place because before he starts work so he can get like his physical done and everything. We just got some Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros? What? Did I sound like that? What? Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. I have only tried, I don't know, I tried one of their energy drinks the last time and I honestly think that they all taste the same. Which one was this one? Shark attack or shark something, I don't know. And it's like sugar free. I mean, it's refreshing. It just, they all taste like Red Bull. Yeah. It doesn't taste like, it's not bad. It just, they all taste like Red Bull. Like, no matter what flavor you get, it tastes the like, same. It would say something, the description is so yeah, it's Intricate. like, it's so unique. Each uh, description is like things you don't expect in a energy drink, like white chocolate and things like that, but you drink it and it tastes the same. I don't know. This is a nitro cold brew with oat milk. Is it okay though? Is that the best thing? It's like okay to drink. I don't know. I've had better cold brews. If I had the choice between this and black rock coffee, I would choose that one. Now we are headed to potato barn. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I, I'm just like looking early. I'm not trying to buy something early because that would be, just be stupid. We hardly have any space in the apartment as is for our current stuff. So I don't want to pack it more and then have them move more complicated after when we move into the new house after it's done. Somebody posted a dining table and it said in the description it was from Potato Barn. And I thought it was funny thinking that it was a typo for Pottery Barn. But then when we were driving someplace recently, we passed a potato bar and I was like, oh my God, it wasn't a typo. So that's where we're going now. It's kind of interesting because it sounds like it's actually unique pieces. I don't want every item, like not that there's anything wrong with this, but I don't want every item to be from a typical store, even though I really like West Elm and things like that. I want some unique pieces. I want to thrift pieces. I want to find pieces on Facebook Marketplace as well. What do you know about potato barn? It's even open. It's not. This is right outside the store, and this looks like a sit low from Vietnam. That definitely has a lot of character. It's like my first impression, like walking through. Look at the horse. This is three thousand dollars for a horse. This is an interesting piece. It kind of reminds me of my current coffee table in a way, but I wouldn't want it because it's like way too matchy with the coffee table almost because it's like a hand carved look. It's $12.95, but it's huge. Look at all the stuff. Very unique. I like how all the pieces here like have a lot of character. I haven't seen anything that I would necessarily purchase yet. I would definitely come back when our house is actually done because I'm just looking right now. I'm not actually trying to buy something. That's an interesting chair. Old barber chair. It's like a old mill Freaking huge. kind of console table. It's huge. I don't think that's the vibe I'm going for, but it's cool. I do, I do like... See, You're not we, going for the mill vibes? <laughs> if we could find like wood beams like this for the ceiling, I would really like that. If they could oh, look, look exactly this like this. This is a cool uh, speakeasy vibe. Wow. What is? Oh, it's a bar. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you like plants? That'd be cool. It's like all hanging down. Where would you put this? On the patio? No. Here's a boat. For two grand. Nice. I like the look of this one the most, but I don't like the feeling of it either. It doesn't like it feels like rough or something. I don't know. It has like a weird coating on it. Okay, this is freaking awesome. I really like this door, and I think I want to. I would put something like this at the end of one of our hallways in the new place. It's just such a cool door. I love the arch. We are pretty much back home, so we're gonna go to the gym. We joined a gym again, and I really missed going to a gym because when I do home workouts, I 
feel like I rest too long. I just kind of sit there because no one's waiting for me or anything. So I'm really excited to go to the, back to the gym. And yeah, I'm going to end it here. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.